Okay, so one thing I often get asked by my Squarespace website design clients is how to edit, resize, make images smaller and things like that on their Squarespace websites because there are a few different ways to do this and it can get a little bit fiddly. So I'm going to show you a few different options for that. So hi, if you're new here, my name is Anna from byrosanna.co.uk. I am a designer and online educator. And here on YouTube, I share videos all about business, productivity, marketing, website design, and all of that good stuff. So if you like that kind of content, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up while you're there. So as I say, editing and resizing images on Squarespace can be a little tricky and there's a few different ways to do it. So I'm gonna show you some options using my own website um, just to show you and give you a demonstration. And first of all, I just want to say that before I even go into uploading an image and adding it to the website, it's really important that you take a few steps to actually prepare your images for being added to your website as well. So it's important that they are quite small in file size so that they load really quickly on your website and they don't slow your site down. You may also want to change the file names on them, which can help towards SEO. But I do have a whole blog post about how to prepare your images for your website, which I will link below in the video description. So I've got my image here and I'm just going to go ahead and edit a page in Squarespace 7.1. It will open up the page editor and I'm just gonna add my image by adding an image block here and uploading the one in my downloads folder. So now that my image is added, you'll probably notice that it's come up quite big on the page. It's spanning the whole width of the page because that is where I went to add the image block there. And usually we're probably not gonna want our images to come up this big. And this is where people often get stuck um, and they're not sure how to actually resize the images once they've uploaded them. So one option would be to use spacer blocks either side and around your images to make them smaller. So I'm gonna show you how to do this. Just just click the plus button underneath the image block we've just added so that we can add a new block and you want to add a spacer block and this is going to add it underneath the image block and then what you can actually do is click or hover over the spacer block click and you can drag it to move it around the page and these blue lines are basically telling you where that spacer block is going to land if I release my mouse so now if I release my mouse that has then dropped the spacer block over to the left hand side of the image and it's created these two columns on the page. So Squarespace's editor is kind of made out of these different columns um, and what you can also do is hover over between the two columns, so between these two blocks that are next to each other until this double ended arrow here appears and you can click and drag this then to the left and the right to change kind of the size of the columns that each of these blocks are in. Um, so I could therefore make the image smaller or larger as I kind of shift how big or small the spacer block should be. Now let's say that you want the image to be centered. So that's kind of the right size that you want, but you want it to be in the middle. What we can then do is add another spacer block and then click and drag it so that it sits to the other side of the image block. See where that blue line is appearing? I'm just gonna release it. And then you can see it's gone next to the image block there. And again, we can now hover over between all of these blocks in these columns, wait for that double-ended arrow to appear, and then just click and drag. And I'm just dragging my mouse to the left and the right so that I can alter how big these columns are. So that's still not quite central. So I'm then gonna go to the other side, click and drag so that that ends up being the right size. And you can kind of play around with this to create the right size. Now, the benefit of this method is it is relatively quick. However, the drawbacks are kind of, it is a little bit fiddly if you're not used to kind of clicking and dragging blocks around on Squarespace and editing columns. You are also restricted by Squarespace's column layouts. So each of their pages will have 12 columns of certain sizes. So this would be one column, then you can kind of jump and this would be a second column third and so forth and you can kind of get 12 within, within a page so obviously you can kind of only resize your image based on how many columns that it's going to be taking up when you're um, altering the width of these blocks. The other drawback is it actually doesn't apply to mobile devices so let's say you really only want this image to be 
a small size on mobile devices as well. If we click on the little mobile icon up in the top right corner, you can see a preview of how it will look on mobile and the image has gone back to being full width. And that is because spacer blocks don't load on mobile devices. It's like they don't exist. That's just a rule with Squarespace and so that can be a drawback with doing this method. Now I'm just gonna go up to save this page. I've deleted the spacer blocks here because I'm gonna show you another way to resize the image and that is by using custom CS code. Now I've written all of this up into a blog post which you can find the link for below this video which has got all of the details of how to use the code and the code snippets that you need in order to make a specific image smaller or make all images smaller on your website so you can use that but let's say you want to make just this image on your website a bit smaller and you don't want it to apply to all images on your website. What you'll first need to do is download the Squarespace ID Finder extension um, and add it to your browser. I've again linked to this in the blog post, um, so I'll leave a link to that in the video description. And then once it's added to your browser, it will look like this um, icon up at the top here, kind of grid of nine uh, black squares there. And I'll get back to why it's important to have that installed in just a second. Um, but the main place where you're gonna to want to go is in design and then custom CSS. And then you might not have any code in here. I've got lots of code in mine, um, but you just want to find a blank space where you can paste one of these code snippets. And we're gonna use the one for specifically targeting one image block. So we're gonna copy this from the blog post and paste it in here. Now this isn't gonna do anything because what we need to do is find the block ID of the image that we want to target. And this is where this extension comes in because all you need to do is click that little nine grid of black squares up at the top and it will tell you um, what the block ID is. And if you click on that, it will copy it to your clipboard, which is really, really handy. Then all you need to do is come back into that custom CSS. I'm just gonna click that extension again to turn it off. Get rid of this hashtag block ID that I've just put in there as a demo and paste in the block ID that it's just copied. And this will then target your image. And you can then change the percentage width that you want it to be. So you can change it to be whatever you like. Um, and that way you can have much more control over um, exactly how big your images are gonna be. You're not stuck with the Squarespace grid layout and it gives you 100% control of how big your images are gonna be. However, the drawback is that obviously you need to have a little bit of idea about how code works. If this kind of scares you, then it may not be the method for you. And also it is just very time consuming to do this for each image on your website, to have to use these code snippets every time you want to resize something. So again, that might not be the method for you if you want to do this on a regular basis. So now I'm gonna show you the easiest option, and that is by using a tool called Square Kicker. So Square Kicker is a no code design and animation extension that you can add to your Squarespace 7.1 websites. I've got an affiliate link for it below in the description. So go and check it out. You can get a 14 day free trial, but it is a monthly subscription um, that you will need to pay additionally for, but it is so, so worth it. I've done a whole video review about it and all of the features that you can get with it. And honestly, if you are a Squarespace website designer, you need this tool. It will save you so much time where you would usually spend coding. Um, and even if you're someone that just has that own website, but you want to take it a lot further than Squarespace's own capabilities, um, and you want to design your website in a more tailored way, then this extension is gonna be really good for you as well. But once you have installed it, and I do have instructions on how to do that in my other Square Kicker review video, which I'll leave a link for in the description, once you've installed it, what you can do really easily is do things like resize images. So I'm going to come back into edit this page. And because I've got the extension installed, you'll notice that when I click on the image, it has this SK button next to it. And if I click on that, it then opens up the additional Square Kicker design tools that you can use. Um, and you can do things like edit the image, add a filter, add borders, add shadows, change what devices it's visible on, things like that. Um, or if I click on block and then go to layout, this is where I can completely change the width of the image. So if I just slide this down, then as you can see, I'm not 
controlled by any kind of Squarespace columns. I can literally change it to whatever size I want. So this would normally be something that you would have to code for every single image rather than come in and use this really intuitive um, kind of slider feature with Square Kicker. So it's really, really easy. And the best thing about it is you've got control over the design settings for different screen sizes as well. So if we come up to the top right of this Square Kicker pop up, you can see I'm looking at desktop view now, but I can also go to laptop view and I can alter the width specifically just for laptop view. I can do it for tablet view as well and mobile devices. Say I want to make it much smaller on mobile. This will not then have an effect on the other devices. They are all their own separate design settings, which you can do with custom code. And I have included the code snippets for you to do that in the blog post. But again, that would take so much time coding it up for every single screen size, whereas you can just come into Square Kicker and use all of these really, really intuitive features and it just makes it so easy. So as I say, I do have an affiliate link for Square Kicker, which I will leave in the video description. I really appreciate if you do sign up to it using my link, I do get a bit of a kickback and you get a 14 day free trial with it as well. So you can see whether it would be worth it to you. So that's all talking about resizing the image and just making it bigger or smaller. But what if you actually want to change the shape of it or the crop or the ratio, whatever that might be to fit the space that you want. So let's say here, I've got my text on the left hand side and I've added an image block on the right hand side. And what I want to do is just make this image a little bit thinner or a little bit less tall so that it kind of matches up more with the text to the left hand side. But I want the width to be the same. So technically the image isn't being resized. It's not being made smaller. It's just the height is being changed. And that's what's called cropping, where we're basically changing the ratio of the height and the width of the image. So rather than me have to go into Photoshop or something like that to change the crop of this image and just cut off the bottom of it, we can actually use Squarespace's tools to do that for us. So there's a few ways you can do it. We can either click on the image and then wait for this little blue, uh, sorry, this gray circle to appear at the bottom. And as I hover over that, you can see I've got another kind of double ended arrow appearing. And if I click and drag on that, I can go up and down and this will crop the image or make it larger. I can basically change the height of the image using this tool. So I'm gonna just move it up here and release. And you can see how that has made the image more level with the text now this is a cropping tool that you can use. Or if we just take this back to roughly where it was before, what you can do is go into the image and click edit. Um, and what we can do is click edit again, and this will open up Squarespace's kind of editor here where you can change some things about the brightness of the photo, stuff like that. But if you click this little crop icon in the top right corner, this will allow you to change the crop. You can alter it here. You can change the ratio and make it square or landscape, do all of these different things. And if we click save, that will permanently edit the image there for us. It might take a second to load. And then you can see that has made it thinner, although because I've dragged that, we just need to get it back to where it was, which is there. And now it's cropped so that it has got less height, but the width has stayed the same. So those are some different ways of resizing images and changing them in Squarespace. I hope you found this useful. Please give this video a thumbs up if you did, and I will see you again next week with another video. Thanks so much for watching.